Party all in a joy to which is thirsty to give us some water It has been the game for a long time, and trust me, a man who doesn't even need an introduction right there has been doing amazing work right there. Not just being an artist, but also a voiceover artist. And right now, I'm trying to get hold of him right now on Joy FM as we get to talk about his current brand new song. And also just to get find out a few things from him right Hello. here on Joy FM. Good evening, Chilu Lemba. How are you doing? PMC, I'm good, man. How are you doing? Great. Finally, we get to have you right on Joy FM. It's an honor. I know, man. We've been trying to do this even the last time I think we spoke when I was in Zambia. But I was in Livingston yeah. um, during the time that we tried to connect a year ago. Mm. It's already a year. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but good to be on your show. Oh, amazing, amazing. So tonight we're talking about your song, which is set to drop officially uh, tomorrow. Yes. Um, and, and you guys have an exclusive and you've uh, been able to do it a few hours before that. Mm. So, so well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super excited about that. So I was, uh, I'm was i just playing your song, Enjoy uh, uh, to Right on Joy FM, and just to give uh, the people some few information oh, wow. right here. Uh, are you always proud when you get to listen to uh, your old time song? You, you know what? Like, there's some songs which you only appreciate years after because you... you you know, like in rear view, you can see the impact that the song had. Mm. But during the time that the song is fresh, you're probably like looking at so what could have been improved or, you know, you're, you're listening to uh, little things here and there. You're checking comments online. So I think in the moment when a song is fresh, you might not um, enjoy it. L let me put it this way, uh, PFC. There are two times when I think you enjoy the song mm -hmm. immensely. Mm -hmm. Firstly, it's before everyone else gets to hear it. Mm -hmm. So when uh, you're the only person who uh, you've received the song from the producer and you've got like maybe two days of listening to it before the world is exposed to it, but that time you enjoy it like thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And then when it's released to the world, you start enjoying it, but with a bit of hesitation because you're also seeing what people's reactions are and seeing it through that lens. And then um, like now, when, when I think of Njota, I already kind of like like it and 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 bug out to it uh you know because it's had its time of uh, people enjoying it appreciating it and embracing it so it's a proven fact that it's done well and mm. so now uh together with the rest of the world can just kind of you know embrace it and, and enjoy it like everyone else mm. do you know that you are also celebrated too much uh we always talk about you uh just the other day i was having an interaction with a friend of mine a colleague uh, he was uh, yeah. talking about you saying uh, you have done a lot and you deserve to be celebrated right there. Do you sometimes feel like oh, wow. uh, there's more credit that you need to get? Not at all, uh, if I'm honest with myself, because, you know, life is a joke. But like, for ex example, and you're probably in the same boat as me because, you know, we're creatives and we're looking at the next thing. So uh, right now, um, the, the thing that's associated with me as brand new today mm -hmm. is uh, this new song called Come Closer. But what you probably also realize is that while that's my current, uh, in my own mind, I'm already like working and finalizing other projects which are going to be your now in maybe like a month's time or whatever you know what i mean mm -hmm. so I, I don't think there's time to kind of um revel in past accomplishments um mm -hmm. I, I remember having this conversation with somebody i mean like the first uh, radio uh hit or or song that i had on radio was 25 years ago pmc mm -hmm. and so um you know if, if i rely on on uh, you know that past glory and say you know i had a hit song 25 years ago then that doesn't do any good you know because then i'm stagnant in the past mm -hmm. uh whereas um you you kind of try and keep current uh, for example the song that you're going to play right now um come closer the guy that produced it was born in the year that i started working in radio can you believe 1996 wow so it's 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 yeah it's kind of like you've got a producer who's bringing something fresh because he's younger than you but then uh, on my side, I'm bringing you know, experience and um, uh, my own flavor and my own fingerprint on the song. And then it comes out. So uh, to answer your question, I'm not really looking for, for accolades. If they do come, if, if somebody you know celebrates me, like um, I have to also kind of probably think about what happened uh, two years ago mm -hmm. with Rico Ricardo and, and Tej Matanes and Mofki and Zach Chabula, some of my colleagues. Uh, they had an event with, where I was 
um, kind of on it, which was um, which was lovely. Um, mm-hmm. But it's it's not as if every day I'm living to get acknowledged. I'm just kind of you know every day living to try and do my part. Amazing. Uh, how many how, how, field that I'm in. how how many years are we talking about right now? <laughs> You're doing what you're wow. doing right now. How many years are we talking about? Man, oh, I don't know, man. Like, um, by 1994, we were Eish. already putting out mixtapes and stuff. So, ni- well, 90, 91 even. So are we not just talking know, about 27 you know, years now? I've lost count of, of the years, but <laughs> next I'm going to ask you your age, bro. <laughs> but... Oh, my. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. And I'm enjoying doing it, yeah. Mm, oh my, oh it. my, so, amazing, amazing. But let's yeah. talk about, you are one of the people who also contributed a lot uh, in the growth of uh, the industry right in Zambia. Are you happy yeah. on how things are right now as you are seeing it from afar? Uh, are you someone who can say, okay, I'm proud yes. on how things are moving? I think so. I mean, like from uh, from media to music, I think... There have been giant leaps um, from the time that we started doing um, music or radio. If you talk about radio, uh, I was, uh, you know, among the first um, broadcasters when there was the first privately owned radio station, mm-hmm. uh, which was Radio Phoenix back in '96. Mm-hmm. And if you look at how many stations there are right now and and how well the stations are doing and, and gaining traction, that's something to marvel at. And and musically as well, um, as a Alan. Bula, who you might know as uh, DJ Life, yeah. he'll tell you that back in about 1994 or something, there was a meeting which was for Zambia Union of Musicians at the time. Mm-hmm. And in the meeting, somebody asked um, the musicians in the room, like, how many of you drive cars? And I think it was only Maureen Lilanda and one other person at the time who drove cars from music. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you look now, I mean, like, I, I can count how many musicians are making a living, building businesses. Uh, from making music, you know. So from from that point in terms of growth, um, I think it's taken giant leaps. But I also think it's um, one of those things whereby we can't be complacent and think we have arrived, you know, mm-hmm. because there's a long way to go. Mm-hmm. If, if you look at breaking into the international market musically, there are very few artists from Zambia who have made a, a, an imprint, you know. So there's still a long way to go. We can't be satisfied and think arrived i think the journey is long ahead of us still mm-hmm. and also the streaming aspect this is when uh the word of uh streaming and buying music is getting out right there yeah. i don't know if, if, if you have checked out you are one of the people who has taken that step i've been seeing a lot that you've not been putting out your music for free of charge you make sure that your music is uh <laughs> online uh it's either on versus sunny yeah. or, uh, or it's not on a free download right there maybe you just tell us uh are we moving I've the seen, right yeah. direction it's, it's a very complicated situation because, firstly, you know, back in the day, I was very happy to put stuff out uh, for free on, uh, you know, wh- whatever it was, SoundCloud or, or those other sites where when you log on, there are like a bunch of ads and viruses mm-hmm. <laughs> that invade your phone or your computer. But when, when I think about the situation now, each artist who puts out a song has put an investment into making it. And, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why, even with albums, I'm hesitant because... I like to go all in, meaning that with each song that you hear, there's been like a bunch of uh, resources put towards it. And for it to then just kind of like land on a free download site, I think is um, not right personally. So that's why I'm, I'm happy with what's happening with um, Besesani. Um, you know, my music's been on Spotify and other streaming services for many years. Um, and there's also, you know, the fact that streaming doesn't pay much. But if you, if you then lean and pivot your music to um, be it in Besasani or be it iTunes downloads as opposed to um, Apple Music streaming, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then maybe you're getting something back. It's not like you're going to get all your money back. Um, it's, it's uh, I think, uh, folly to believe that you'll, you'll return to your reverse investment will be returned from those avenues uh, exclusively. But at the same time, I think it's uh, it's not right to just kind of, you know, put your music out uh, as, as free downloads because... Mm-hmm. Um, you also kind of spoil um, your supporters and your, your the people that enjoy your music because when you then put a price on it, they'll be like, hey, this guy, now he's charging us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> the, the opposite is that you're just kind of blessing people and, and uh, you know, injuring yourself financially. So so I, I do, like you say, I, I do think it, it's worth the while putting music on platforms where people will pay. So I salute the guys at Mrs. Sunny. 
mm-hmm. who I think will have the, the song up tomorrow or whatever, mm-hmm. for all the steps that they're doing to kind of empower uh, musicians and, and the industry. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's talk about Zame Radio right now. You've been in, in the, the industry for a long time. Are you also happy when you get to listen <laughs> to uh, uh, how radio has grown in Zambia right now? Uh, maybe also, we can just maybe rate, rate us right now out of 10. <laughs> are, we, oh, are we also moving in the guys, right direction? You, you guys are my people. <laughs> <laughs> my oh people. my. I'm not rating. Unless <laughs> I get a phone call from Mr. G. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> no, but, but yeah. no, like, like, radio, is, radio is doing so well. I, I think, like, you know, we've got the radio summit which I'm involved in, which mm. um, for some. In, in, in a certain way, helps to empower a radio stations. So mm-hmm. shout out to Zanako who's been sponsoring that effort. But um, I mean, from the time that I was there, where we started out Radio Phoenix uh, without proper training, mm-hmm. without uh, proper mentorship, and so on, to where it is now, where the exchange forums. If, if it's not the radio summit, it could be the radio Indaba, and it could be just radio presenters going online to search for information to empower themselves and, and uplift their own craft. Mm-hmm. I think it's, it's come a long way. So I, I wouldn't say that uh, even the way I, I talked about music and said we're not where we need to be. Mm-hmm. Similarly with radio, we've made like ex- extremely big strides, mm-hmm. but there's always uh, the fact that we can do more. You know, there, there are things such as, um, you know, in- integrating maybe radio dramas into broadcasts or... Mm-hmm. Or like something that sounds like a podcast and and, and can uh, you know uh, give information to to people and empower communities. That stuff can be integrated. But in terms of stuff like radio imaging, which was almost non-existent back in our day, um, now is prevalent and people are investing in the sound of the station and competitions mm-hmm. and, and all these things. I, I think we've uh, made great strides. So. I, people should get a pat on their backs. Amazing. I think we just need to make a day when you are in Zambia so that we can have an amazing chat just to talk about radio <laughs> and uh, some other uh, things. Yeah. But uh, tonight we decided to get talk about your okay, music yeah. aspect, uh, which I feel it is uh, somewhere, somehow affected because uh, of your work. Uh, you find yeah, that Chilu yeah, Lemba would yeah. drop a song in here, maybe just one song or two songs. And uh, right now, we're talking about Come Closer, uh, which is, I feel like 2020, this yeah. is the f- your first song in 2020, is it? It is. And, and I don't know, the, the team put out like a press release, which is uh, curious because it's almost like every decade uh, there's been like, you know, I put out like a lot of songs, but what sometimes happens is like I'll put out an album and then only one song will uh, make an impact on radio. So if you think about the journey like in the 90s it was zambia moto which was mm-hmm. the first uh, vernac and english song to hit radio mm-hmm. um in 95 that mm-hmm. was in the 2000s it was shibuka from the rhythm nation project uh, between 2010 and 2020 it was um, um jota which kind of made an impact um the one you played just now mm-hmm. al- along with maybe a few others but in 2020 yes, this is the first um song that i'm putting out uh this day Mm. <laughs> it's funny to say this decade. Yeah, and and uh, yes, it's 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 been a different vibe. The producer I worked with is from Ghana, a guy called Brian the Mesa, and the vocalist is also one of his connections uh, from Ghana. But what I try to do is the usual formula of uh, putting in English and then sprinkling in some Bemba, sprinkling in some Nyanja, but making it in such a way that even if you don't understand the languages, uh, you're still able to get the essence of the song and to enjoy. It uh, and not be prohibited by the fact that um, there's a lot mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, able to understand Bimba and Nyanja, then you might catch the inside jokes. And, you know, yeah. So I always tell this. Inside the song. I always tell a lot of uh, new artists saying, uh, as much as you want to sound uh, international, you must um, uh, always make sure that uh, your origin also matters. And uh, from your current song, yeah, I can hear yeah. that there's uh, some some bimba right there, which is a good thing at the end of the day, right there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, Chilo, yeah, maybe we just take, uh, tell us about "Come Closer." What's the story? And uh, what are you trying to talk about in the song? Just in case someone's locked in right now, they want to get the whole entire uh, idea of the song. A sure thing. If you're locked in right now, so so <laughs> "Come Closer" is a love song. You know, so it's it's a song which talks about the journey of a relationship. Um, It talks about, you know, just before proposing the fact that uh, as a couple, if you're getting married, you know that there's a time when you have to discuss stuff and you realize like, oh, this person I'm 
about to marry has a lot more stories than than I thought. But then there's a time when all that is is aired out in the open, could be in in premarital counseling or whatever. So I touch on a bit of that. Then I also touch on like the relationship, uh, you know, like late on in the life cycle of the relationship where it's grown a bit. So it's it's uh, kind of just the song which is to do with um, love and a relationship. Um, and it's a fun song at the same time. So it's not like you know. One of those uh, love songs that Celine Dion would do, mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's, it's a love song that a guy like me would do, where it still has a, a vibe, a pace to it, uh, and, and you know that that's kind of how I do things. Mm. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that people will 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 enjoy it and catch on to what I was up to. Okay, so you're about to introduce your own song right now on Joy FM. Lusaka really? Zambia, that's the challenge I was giving you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to play the song right now. And uh, this is the first right. time playing it right here in Zambia. And uh, like I did mention, uh, this song hasn't played anywhere yet. It's going to be dropping tomorrow, is it? As far as I know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of out of touch, but you know, it, it, it circulated slightly, so it might have played somewhere, I'm not oh too sure. Oh my, oh my. But still, the, the, fa- the fact that it's a day before the release, you still have a premiere on your hands. Mm-hmm. So let's <laughs> go to... It. Use it for real. <laughs> yeah. Right, man, if you've queued it, are you ready? I'm going to queue it. We, we, we are good to go. To play, we... but... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> listeners of Joy FM in Lusaka, this is my brand new song. It's called Come Closer, featuring Mel and produced by Brian the Mensa, BMC. Amazing. Right Thank you very much, Chilulemba. And uh, means a lot right to Joy FM. Uh, hoping that we get to have an interaction with you when you uh, come in Zambia. Absolutely. Blessed, man. And thanks right. so much once again. All right. Let's go straight to Chilu Lemba's song right here. Our very own uh, uh, Bonabre Zambian doing amazing work. Voice over. Trust me, has done a lot. A lot. We're talking about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be 27 years in the industry. That's not a job, man. <laughs> it's a legend. It is a legend. Let's go straight to his current brand new song right here on Joy FM. Mm-hmm. 